Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in Psalms chapter 119, verse 70, as well as Exodus chapter 3, verse 6. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Lord God, for this word, Lord Jesus. Thank you for showing us ourselves, Lord. Help us to be found in right standing with you when you come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Um, Psalms 119, verse 70. Their heart is unfeeling like fat, but I delight in your law. All right. And so this is a contrast of um basically the wicked versus the child of God, right? And so um he's talking about how the the people are versus um what he's feeling right and the fact is they're not feeling anything it says their heart is unfeeling like fat but i delight in your law all right and we know that fat is a barrier right it can be a barrier it it, is like padding insulation something that can stand between something else Right. And and when you're dealing with God, you don't really want anything in between you and him. You want it to be all bare bones. You want it to be open and out there. Why? Because God needs to deal with you. Right. When you have a huge stone in the way or hardness of heart or a shell over things, it just takes longer. Right. And not longer for him, but most of the time it's for us to psychologically process what it is that God is trying to do with us. And so it says their heart is unfeeling like fat, meaning the fats of life have caused them to to not feel anymore, right? And, And when you can't feel anymore, you can't be sensitive to what's going on around you. If someone taps you on your shoulder, you don't know that they're tapping you on your shoulder because you don't feel anything, right? Same thing with God. Um, if if God is trying to get your attention, but you're unfeeling, if you're unseeing, unhearing, dull in your sensory life, then you're not going to pay attention to a small tap that you really kind of don't feel. You're not gonna, gonna, gonna pay attention or be sensitive right because you felt so much before and 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 you you are over over um stimulated basically by the world um maybe you have encountered so much that a touch is nothing anymore a touch just feels like nothing and so um if you are sensitive to the things of god if you are open to him if you um are vulnerable with him, then you'll be more feeling and there'll be less between you and God. And so here the contrast is, it says, but I delight in your law. So for him, you know, he's saying, I'm not like that. I delight in your law. I I feel something when, when I read your word, I allow something to stir in me. I allow you to move in me, right? Um, we can feel the effect uh, that the Holy Spirit is trying to do, right? When he's trying to say something, when he's trying to move us into a direction, we don't just numb ourselves or chasten his spirit, right? We want to be sensitive to the things of God when he's speaking to us. All right. And the the completion verse, the verse that the Lord gave me, the second verse was um, Exodus chapter three, verse six. And he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face for he was afraid to look at God. And we know this is when he's encountering God at the burning bush, right? And so he's sensitive, right? He's sensitive. He feels something when he encounters this bush. He feels he's sensitive to what this bush just said, right? With what God just said to him. He he's put in fear of God. He he is feeling some kind of way, right? When he hears these words. Um, it's not just the bush, right? It, it's the words that came from the bush. 
he was sensitive to that, right? Because the, the curiosity drew him toward the bush. But when these words came out, oh, your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. He's moved by this bush, the words that came out of it. His heart was feeling, right? His delight was in the law of the Lord. That law, that word was coming out of that bush and not the law, but the word was coming out of the bush and he could feel something. His spirit was stirred. Something was moving around in him and it caused him to fear. It caused him to reverence. It caused him to respect. It caused him to move, right? And it says, Abraham, he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face for he was a to look at God. And so remember, we also know that Moses was a very meek man. And so they, it says that in the word that he was the most meek man on the face of the earth. And so um, he was, that means he was submissive. It wasn't about his will. He was already like that, right? He, he was a submissive man. He, he wasn't um, about getting what he wanted done. It was about others, right? And so that submissive spirit caused him to be sensitive and, and caused him to not have any barriers in his heart, any fact between him and God. It was all about um, God. It was all about submission. It was all about um the fear of God when he encountered God. Amen. And that's what God is wanting from us. He's wanting submission. He's wanting meekness. He's wanting us to um, remove, allow his Holy Spirit to remove all barriers so that we can feel again, so that we can, can touch him and allow him to touch and stir us and, and, and allow his word to be a delight to us again right? Um, if you are feeling apart from God, if you're feeling um, as if you are estranged or are aloof from God, standing off from him a little bit, now is the time, right? Now is the time to submit yourself. Now is the time to get on your face before God and be vulnerable. Um, speak in tongues, lay out before him, cry, you know, it's not if you have to just get out there and put it all out there, right? Be as real as you can. And and if you have a hard time being real, that's real, right? Take that to him. Wherever you are, start there, right? Start right wherever you are. And so if if that if that no feeling um this is the problem take that to him and keep taking it to him until he causes you to feel again, until he causes you to get a breakthrough, right? Because you need God, right? And, and it helps. You need to be real with him. Amen. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for your work. You are truth. You are holy. You are light and you are good. We love you. We give you praise. We give you all of our thanksgiving. All of our hope is in you, Jesus. Forgive me for all of my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. Jesus, forgive me for all of my sins. In your precious name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he is going to show you the way. He is going to lead you down right paths and he is going to, to just 
be a wonderful blessing and guide to your life. Um, one of the best ways to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down with his word, chew on his word and talk with him, asking questions and wait for an answer, wait on an answer from him. Um, he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So seek his face. Amen. Um, he's going to show you what church home to join, um, where to go and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. He's also going to show you um, how to make disciples of all men, tell other people about him, um, give them your testimony. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.